Greetings, people of the internet. It's Scott with CircWorks, and it's Friday. At least for me, it's Friday. For you, you can be watching this any day of the week. But when I say it's Friday for me, that means it's Fan Art Friday. And uh, yeah, what am I drawing this week? Well, last week I worked on Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. So I figure I would keep up that tradition and do another Firefly character. Can you guess who it is? Now, you don't need to guess because you probably saw it in the description. See, I can, spoiler alert, right in the description. But anyway, yes, doing Kaylee today. So if you want to see me draw this, let's hop to it. Okay, so here we go, and uh, as usual, when we start off, whenever I start off with one of these drawings, I try to get sort of a gesture down, um, and I just kind of use a series of, you know, cylinders and shapes, and, and uh, just try to get that pose right. Um, so she's kind of going to be in a stance. I want her to have her kind of iconic umbrella, which if you follow the show, you know, and then also uh, you can kind of see I just dropped a... A wrench in her other hand. Um, she is the ship's me uh, mechanic. If you if you haven't seen Firefly, um, so yeah, she's sort of a, a tomboyish type character. But uh, I don't know. She kind of. I think she. And sometimes she kind of longs to be a little more girly. Um, there's a couple episodes where. Uh, oh, and you see real quick. I just uh, dropped some of the video. Um, I don't know what happened. The camera kind of cut off, so we lost a little bit of that. So. We're getting a little closer, but yeah, like I was saying, there's an episode, I think it's the Shindig episode where um, she kind of spies this dress in a shop and she thinks it's real pretty and all the other, uh, <laughs> the high class girls at this party are kind of making fun of her and uh, then this guy kind of comes by and puts her in her place and then she kind of, she kind of finds, uh, I don't know, like this, these aren't spoilers or anything, but she, <laughs> she starts talking to a group of people and they're all fascinated by how much she knows about uh how much she knows about the, you know, spaceships and, and fixing, you know, kind of like what you, you would talk, the way you would talk about cars, but of course this, these are spaceships we're talking about. So, but anyway, a very cool character. Um, you can see I got my little ellipse template out, uh, just trying to fill in some of the, um, the, the ellipses on the umbrella here. Um, but yeah, one thing that I'm doing uh, this time around is I'm trying out a new, this is an all new um, video editing software that I'm using. I'm using a program called PowerDirector uh, 13. And it's, it's so far it's really cool. It's taken me a little while to get used to. It's not hard or anything like that, but it does just take, uh, it takes a little bit of time because it's, it's just different than what I'm used to. And, you know, once I get the hang of it, I think it's gonna, everything's going to run real smoothly. But, but there's just certain things that I don't quite know how to do yet. And I keep, keep you know, and it's, a lot of it's real simple. When I, when I find out that um, I'll, there'll be a problem that I need to do, um, like just right now, I was trying to figure out how to record these little voiceovers over these speed videos. And, uh, and so just go online find a find a YouTube video and there's tons of videos on this software which makes it really easy um, and there a lot of them are real quick so the the solutions are, are fairly simple they're not they're not hard to do it just um, finding out how to do everything in the first place and sometimes it takes me two or three tries before I I get everything down um, uh, and as you can see I'm moving on to the inking stages and uh, I think we're working about I think this is about four times speed so so sped it up just quite a little bit and um, uh, I got I did get a comment I think I think it was Jay uh, Ferguson who, who kind of asked if I was gonna continue to do these sort of uh, little shorter videos and this one might be another short one they're not all gonna be like that um, I'm still just trying to find my footing on how best to do all this and um, just kind of want to get everything down and 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 um you know it's sort of down to a science before i um i don't know what i'm trying to say before what before i there, there's just i guess there's just a certain level that i'm trying to get to with these videos and it seems like something always goes a little wrong i mean they're not bad or anything but like last time uh we saw the little letter letter boxes on the sides of, of the video because i had the camera setting wrong but uh, once I get everything, you know, all lined up where I can do it, and it's 
how I want, then hopefully it'll go a lot smoother. So I've got, I've got this screen ratio on this one is is working the way I want it to. Um, I got I'm working with a new microphone right now. This is it's it's not a real expensive microphone, but it got good reviews for the price. So I'm going to start out with this, and I might upgrade later. There's there's one that's uh, this the one I got here is around around forty something dollars. Um, there's one that's like a hundred and twenty or something like that called the it's a uh, the blue yeti which I've heard good things about. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to test this one out for now. So hopefully a little better audio quality than I had before. And um, and again, uh, the I should be able to do a lot more cool stuff with this new video editing software. So. I'm looking forward to you know adding a lot more little bells and whistles and things like that to the you know and to the production quality of the videos. But uh, you know I'm just taking baby steps right now. So and you know that's I think that's par for the course for a lot of people that do YouTube videos. If you go back to some people that are really heavily into it or have a lot of videos up, and you go back to their early ones, the production quality is usually not quite as good. So it, it's for me it's better not just to you know try to get everything perfect on your first go around and just you know I think I think you just kind of want to grow your channel you don't want if you try to get everything perfect right up front you'll never get anything done so um, I'm just gonna gradually again try to you know grow the channel and, and bump up the quality and everything and uh, and uh, you know we'll see how that goes um, yeah so right now I'm just filling in the umbrella and um, I usually do everything with this real thin. Uh, it's it's I use uh, right now. I'm using it's a it's a Winsor Newton Cotman, which is their watercolor like economy line. Um, this is like a an odd or a double odd. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what size the brush is. I think it's an odd. Um, and then I'll go over. I like to go over. I'll do everything kind of with the thin lines. Have a little line weight to it, but not a whole lot. And then I'll go over it. As you'll see coming up um, with a thicker line, and I'll kind of pop that out all around the outlines of the character. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And I've been using, um, I mentioned this, but people are always asking, so I always mention it. Uh, the ink that I use is a Deleter uh, Black Number no. 5, and it's like a manga ink. Um, you can order it, it's the brand is called Deleter, and, uh, and they have different different numbers. I don't know exactly what's better for what. I just know that the five was recommended to me and it works great for me. So um, that's what I use and I love it because it's it's nice and opaque but it's it, it's not heavy. It's it's really light. It goes on smooth kind of like water but it's real nice and opaque and it doesn't smudge with Copics um, which is one thing that I, I, these particular drawing you know I'm just gonna do these in black and white but the Copic markers um, <laughs> maybe I'll go back over these with Copics later. I don't know. I don't want to break it up too much because then I'll get I'll get too far ahead, you know. And then I don't want to go back like two weeks and oh, I'm coloring something I did three weeks ago. I don't know if people care about that or not. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get around to coloring this 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 one. Would I think just the color of the umbrella, which is colorful and everything, and she's got a real colorful shirt and her jumpsuit's green and uh, just got some cool colors to her. So. Um, this would be a fun one to color, so I don't know. Maybe I'll add color to it in another video, maybe not. Um, and uh, I don't know, next next week uh, I might do another, um, I might do another uh, Firefly. I might go move on to something else. Still, I haven't really decided. There's so many cool characters, so I don't know. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll continue doing Firefly. I don't know if I'll do all the main characters because I just don't want this to be the Firefly drawing channel every Friday. Um, but there are some other some other cool characters that I'll probably get to. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave comments. I try to get back to everyone who leaves comments. So if you have any questions or suggestions for other things you want to see on the Fan Art Friday videos, please let me know. Uh, but that'll do it for this week, and that is all.